This is Gary Klein. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. We're at the Rams training facility in Thousand Oaks where they just wrapped up the 2018 NFL Draft. The Rams went into Saturday with eight picks. However, they ended up making 10. Very chaotic sixth round, but perhaps the most surprising news of the day for the Rams is that they traded Tavon Austin to Dallas. The saga of Tavon Austin ends with him going to the Cowboys. This is a player that was the Rams' number eight overall pick in 2013. Mm -hmm. Had some good years in St. Louis, but it never really happened for him here in LA under Sean McVay. He lost his role as a punt returner, really had no you know, place in the offense. And the Rams talked about bringing him back. They restructured his contract, but really at this point, they let him go on his way. As uh, Les Snead said, they were gonna go let him Tavon be Tavon. Les Snead did not want to show any of his cards going into the draft. He would not tell us what positions they were looking for, but said, you guys use your common sense. What do you know, Gary, our common sense prevailed. The Rams end up picking up a couple of offensive linemen, and then on Saturday they really bulked up at end and then added some linebackers. But first, let's start off with Brian Allen. He's a center from Michigan State who's going to learn right behind John Sullivan. Right, the day before, they drafted a tackle to learn behind Andrew Whitworth. Brian Allen is a guy who said he's, he grew up watching Sullivan play for the Minnesota Vikings. So he's excited to come to L.A., kind of learn at his elbow, and eventually be a successor at center that can help protect Jared Goff. John Franklin and Micah Kaiser, a couple of defensive players. Of course, defense was an area they really needed to bulk up. The secondary, that's in good shape. But really that front seven, uh, the edges, and then linebackers, what they were looking for today. Looking really for depth, because with Michael Brockers, Aaron Donald, and Dominican Sue, and all the players they have coming back, it's going to be tough for these guys to make that roster, to find a way. But the Rams, under Wade Phillips, definitely need some edge rushing pressure, mm -hmm. and perhaps some of these young guys can provide it. A skilled player that the Rams picked up, a running back, kind of a little bit of a surprise, not like on the Tavon Austin scale, uh, but a little bit shocking that they went for a skilled player for a running back, considering they have Todd Gurley, Malcolm Brown, but really they picked up a guy who's a pass catching threat out of the backfield. John Kelly from Tennessee comes out of the same program as Alvin Kamara, the rookie of the year with uh, the New Orleans Saints. And as you mentioned, he's a pass catching running back actually developed into one this year. His first two seasons at Tennessee, he really didn't have that as part of his repertoire, but he showed he can catch the ball out of the backfield. Sean McVay hopes he can be a change of pace guy behind Todd Gurley and Malcolm Brown. So no first or second round picks, but the Rams did end up making 11 total picks. They said they can't really evaluate how the draft went because they'll find out in a couple of years. With Gary Klein, I'm Lindsay Theory. Be sure to keep it on the Los Angeles Times for the latest on the Rams.